Before we get into this weekly tarot reading for you, I just want to say that I love you so much and I really want to let you know how extremely appreciative I am of you choosing to watch this video, even if it's just for a few minutes. I love you so much. Hey girl. Hello, hello my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Libra, be sure to let me know in the comments below which tarot cards do and how they do because this is how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. As well, Libra, be sure to, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibe today, I would appreciate it, Libra, if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way. But remember to use your intuition, Libra, because I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. We, my tarot cards, are here today just to give you some food for thought as you go throughout your week, a perspective to consider as well, but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, Libra, let's just go ahead and get into your weekly tarot reading. <clears throat> Two cards came flying out for you guys already, Libra, right off the bat, just so I can get an idea of where you guys are currently at in your journey. And you guys are, okay, two of pentacles, two of, uh, or two of earth or two of pentacles or the eight of water or the eight of cups. So the two of pentacles talks about uh, too much going on at once, the need to make a decision and considering a more playful approach, Libra, while this is also covering seemingly you moving on from something. This card says a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful and spiritual and emotional growth. So throughout this uh process for you libra especially in the past few weeks i know uh you guys have had some pretty fast little interruption as well i am doing actually a giveaway for you guys since for hitting ten thousand. so if you would like to enter the giveaway i'm just going to be doing a chance to give someone a chance to have a live reading done with me or a reading done by me uh, own their own personal reading whether it's live or recorded so all the information will be down below it's a quick simple process of joining my new discord and it will be pretty self-explanatory but yeah let's get back into your reading darling fabulous readings libra and yeah i haven't checked them out definitely i would suggest checking those out um as well i'll even leave a link to probably one over here for you to check out but yeah libra i get this sense here like you've been going through this You've been prioritizing, like, working on yourself, healing with yourself, seeing what's been keeping you back, and it's been benefiting you greatly. You've been experiencing a lot of growth, Libra. Uh, you've been making a lot of ground in some way. And so now, you know, with all this growth, with all this development, with all this abundance that has been in the works and coming towards you, Libra, um, it's because of this now that there's probably a little bit of a cleaning that needs to, spring cleaning that needs to happen for y'all libra because now you're in this place of weighing out where it is you want to go next right and i do hear decisions 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 that need to be made and almost like re-evaluating going back to the drawing board with your life current life's plans and seeing if everything is still going in order in the way that you need it to or the way that you would like it to Libra. So let's get some clarifiers on this. Let's see what uh, what more we can get from this situation with some extra cards. Let's see. We have the Five of Wands coming up in here. So this is definitely almost now you guys are addressing some type of obstacle in your life, addressing some type of block, right? You guys are definitely now... It's almost like you're dealing with some type of resistances now that you've had like your period of like further development further growth and i definitely get like for a lot of you libras there's a lot of maturity that has happened for you of recent times for whatever reason right and it celebrates you for it but it's with this maturity i feel this five of wands starts becoming relevant in your life where it's like almost like new obstacles end up being created nine of cups coming in here so this is like a purpose thing libra you know with all these options are you trying to figure out where it is that you want to go next this nine of cups coming comes in also where it just talks about concerns fading away and almost just like the sense of feeling just like self-accomplishment libra and so are you almost now figuring out how you want to move on from a situation 
that's been almost interrupting your flow towards getting to your Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is the back of the deck situ uh, card here. So, but I don't feel like pulling it, but it is something to notice, right? Are you now finally starting to take action on what has been preventing you, Libra, of having 10 completely filled cups for you, right? The Lover's card in the reverse here. So it's definitely been in the situation of an indecision. You haven't, you really haven't known where, like, almost Libra, where it is you should sink your energy into. Another card talking about indecision as well. Ten of Swords comes in here. So, hmm. Yeah, it's, Libra, I am getting this sense for you. You're going to have a lot of different opportunities presented to you. You have a, diff a lot of paths that you could potentially take in sinking and where you would sink your energy into. But I feel like it's all in the name of you can't transition to anything new unless you kind of close off another chapter almost. It feels like a lot of you guys, your next step, Libra, is for progression means having to truly like make a decision and walk away from something. Uh, Ten of Swords being in the reverse for you guys does talk about communication. Let's get another card about this, the Tower card. Yeah, this is like, uh, Libra, there is this very hard decision that you kind of acknowledge yourself that you need to make, that you need to move on from, but you don't know how it feels. You don't know how, um, but you also, at the very least, are acknowledging that a change needs to happen because I do feel like that's what's kind of stopping your progression, stopping you from going forward, Libra, in some way, is because of this Five of Wands. Now, hmm. But it just shows to me just such an indecision. I don't know if you guys, Libra, are afraid of taking this decision. Two of Cups, hurting some feelings. Uh, something that I'm seeing here. Definitely uh, hurting some feelings. Definitely this. you guys are getting this strong sensation of um, kind of washing your hands clean, calling it quits with some type of uh, situation. I don't know. It's very much so, you know, with the promotion of something, Libra, uh, you have to clean office a little bit. You experienced the promotion. Now you got to go to the next level. Queen of Wands or Queen of Swords coming in here. Now you got. Now you kind of have to be bossed up a little bit more, Libra. I do get the sense that this week uh, is definitely going to be a challenge for you in terms of how you yourself are going to carry yourself in a specific situation. I am going to be honest here, Libra, it does feel like this is going to be a week where something could, I don't want to say make or break you because I don't feel like it's that serious, but how you handle a situation is going to be this week is going to be extremely pivotal for how your future will be, I feel. King of Pentacles in the reverse for you as well. Yeah, Libra, definitely be aware of how, on how you handle situations this week because I do feel like this is one of those things where your stability with something, I don't want to say is necessarily on the line, but I feel like this is where the discussion is really had here, Libra, where it's something either in terms of your home life or more so just in regards to... Um, Kind of like making your making your peace known, Libra. Making your peace known, and then because I just get I can't help but feel like there's something in your environment that really is just that needs to have a little bit more control in your life, and I feel like it's either like I kind of get the sense that it's like a lack of boundaries on your end, Libra. Um, a lack of boundaries, or maybe you are, you, you are able to even acknowledge the lack of boundaries, but it's just because, again, like I feel like you don't want to hurt someone's feelings by you moving on, by you pulling the rug on something and be like, you know what, I'm going to be going over here. No hard feelings, right? We have the Hierophant in the reverse as well. Definitely like leaving a situation, Libra. Such a strong sense, I feel like, for you guys wanting to leave a situation here. Three of Pentacles coming in here, going into new contracts. Is this what this is talking about, Libra? Through all this new opportunity coming in that we talk about from your previous weeks, opportunities are starting to present themselves to you, right? With these new contracts means like that probably is what it is you're going to be weighing decisions about with that Two of Pentacles, right? Like you have this desire to move on with this Eight of Water, with this Eight of Cups, but you don't know how to handle the situation for like what it is you're moving on from, right? Because again, with this Tower card and this King of Pentacles, this is definitely like the situation where um, 
you having to move on for like move completely move out uh put an end to something for your own stability for something that will give you further stability now with this ten of swords here in the reverse this leads me to believe it's almost like a conversation an uncomfortable conversation that needs to be had um that you need to have and it also signifies to me where you Libra are kind of identifying some type of chapter in your life, kind of just being as done, being done and over with, calling it quits. Uh, Four of Pentacles coming in here. Yeah, this is definitely Libra through further opportunities, through further growth this week. I feel like you're going to be left with this decision, left with, you know, it's a, one of those, you know, bittersweet things or those take the good with the bad, pursuing or possibly in the sense where it's like, you continuing doing your hustle, Libra, you're going to have new opportunities presented to you. But with those new opportunities, you're also going to have to move on from other situations. And I feel like that's what's, you know, what's bothering you because you almost are having to pull out your four of pentacles from a situation be like, you know what, I got to do this other thing over here, right? Four of swords. And, you know, notice you're getting all these cards, um, but it's all very much so with the at least on your side of things, your perception on things, Libra, you're very much so at peace with this all. It's very interesting because it shows to me where it's like, it's a hard decision, it's, it's a hard place to be in, and it feels like you, maybe, Libra, you guys are just tossing around the idea of like how you go about executing this necessarily. But it, to me, it's showing that you are already able to acknowledge, Libra, where it is you need to go next, that, you know, that some type of chapter is over in your life, or, you know, yeah, it does feel like some type of chapter is finally like over in your life. And because of something else, some new, because I do feel like it, this ends only when some other opportunity with this three pentacle steps forward that is more in your element with that nine of cups, more fulfillment for you, Libra. So how does this turn out for you? We have the three of wands in the reverse coming in here with the page of wands in the reverse coming in as well as the nine of pentacles in the reverse so this is definitely not going to be a situation libra where it's going to be an easy smooth sailing i'm going to be honest here i do definitely get like a little bit of a uh how would i want to put this Libra? it's almost i i feel like almost like two of wands in the reverse as well under this three of wands this magician card as well i almost feel like libra be very careful about the distractions that you have uh, this week. Be very careful about them just because I feel like it could be very counterintuitive for what it is that you're trying to go after, where it is you're trying to go forward to. I do feel like you're going to deal with some, uh, a little bit of resistances as you try to feed energy into this new opportunity, this new path. And so that's probably why Libra, that Queen of Swords, steps forward to you in the sense of having good boundaries. So it's one of those things, Libra, where it feels like you kind of are ready to leave a situation and perhaps even by you starting to leave you start dealing with those resistances that five of wands conflict you know where they're trying to like some type of energy is trying to keep you around or what have you there's like you're not going to be able to just easily like leave a situation without there having to be some type of engagement but do not allow that engagement libra do not allow, allow outside sources to put a damper on this three of pentacles energy that is coming towards you um some type of new contract some type of new collaboration i do see the sense where libra through you getting further opportunity there could be you know some jealous eyes because i was in one of your readings from before where it's like jealous eyes are watching you libra um and so there could be some and people trying to sabotage that or at the very least you know take away some of your energy and distract you in the sense so you no longer can have time to go into these new things right uh do not allow anything to distract you or to take power away from you libra so now i want to look at libra your romantic your love and social situations this week see what's going on there for you uh libra naturally two cards come flying out again for you libra you have the world card archangel michael number three for numerology so write that down also if your spiritual practices uh libra are open to connecting to archangels archangel metatron or 
Michael is reaching out to you. As well as the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Earth. This card says seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. Now this could also be the Seven of Pentacles, a normal tarot, Libra. And the world card says a job well done, joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path towards enlightenment. So definitely Libra, it feels like there's some type of social dynamics uh, that you have a little bit of uh, anxiety about. Um, you're not sure what to make of it. There's something that's going on in your brain. I feel like something you're kind of like rattling back and forth with in the in this idea, almost where it's just like I don't know. It feels like Libra, you're not you're not sure where you stand with a certain social situation in your life. So these cards came flying out, and I feel like these are all relevant. So we have the Two of Pentacles following you. So this is definitely reminiscent of your uh, general portion of your reading, Libra, of you weighing out decisions, right? Six of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is a situation that has felt dead for a while, Libra. You haven't felt like connected to it in a while, or you felt like it's been very one-sided. Page of Cups coming in here. Now we could be optimistic in the sense that you want to deepen a current relationship or, you know, figure out how, how to deepen this. But this Knight of Pentacles coming in as well. When it's all said and done, Libra, I'm getting this strong sense that you guys are going to be welcoming in new energy into your life. Knight of Pentacles with this Page of Cups is showing to me of like a new energy coming in that doesn't feel as like dead weight or one-sided uh, coming in for you. And I feel like you only end up having this Page of Cups energy when you are going into this new uncharted territory as the Knight of Pentacles, right? I don't feel like that person comes through, this opportunity comes through. I say opportunity, but I really do feel like it's a person, though they may have some type of opportunity presented to it just because you are this is all based off of you going into some type of uh path yourself i don't feel like it's just like a social thing like i don't feel like it's just like a so simple like like i feel like the relationships in your life libra it's just more than just like one like you don't just have like friendships you have friendships that maybe somehow coincide with like your passions or something you may have connections is, is i just feel like the connections that you have in your life and that are coming into your life, Libra, it's more than just like a surface level, nothing wrong with them either, but like the, the connections that you hold, the friendships that you hold, the people that you in your life that you hold, um, they play more than just a singular part in your life, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So now, Libra, let's get into seeing what is going on for your financial situation. What is going on for my Libra's career this week? What is going on? We have the release card coming in here. Archangel Azrael, same spiel as before, darling. Uh, number four for numerology. This card says the end of a phase or situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. A lot of, just in general, Libra, you're moving on from... You're releasing a lot, right? And it's kind of to be expected, Libra, when you're, you've been in this place of really starting to receive a lot of good things in your life. And I know for you, Libras, uh, your actual, for actual Libras, like in astrology, you guys are just now finishing up a long period of struggle in terms of the home life. And so, yeah, it does feel like you guys are just making space. This card says the end of a phase of situation. Did I read this off? And we're going to read it off again, darling. The end of a phase of situation, spiritual transformation, and time to move on. I did read it off now that I'm thinking about it. So let's get some more clarifiers on this. You guys are definitely uh, walking away from a situation. And I feel like going into Ten of Wands coming in here. Yeah, you're walking away from... This seems to just overall just be this emphasis, Libra, for you guys. Of where you're identifying the things that have been slowing you down or keeping you down and getting rid of it right you're just because it's like now that you're experiencing a lot more abundance in your life um you're starting to realize the lower vibrational things that just no longer of service to you anymore the devil card i mean i mean yeah you're identifying the devils and so i don't like personally libra i don't <laughs> as i hit my camera hello um i personally don't like this devil card in the sense that I don't like how it villain like immediately gives this villainizing sense. I just just see this devil as something that just no longer is appropriate for your life anymore that you're moving on from. The Queen of Cups in the reverse as well. Yeah, something has just been weighing on you emotionally. Dare I say, probably it's related to your social situation as well, Libra. Uh, being attached to this, and you guys are just releasing the things that have been 
keeping you slowed down in terms of creating, I feel, and keeping you, um, you know, if you, I want to even go as far as to say, Libra, some of you guys have been experiencing a little bit of a money block recently, some type of money block, um, or even just in like your career and work life in general, I feel like you guys have been feeling a little bit stagnant in some specific part, portion in your life, and I feel like you're finally just like, you know, finishing up, like finishing the cleaning process. Like now you got to get to the nooks and crannies, the corners of your life and take care of the dust that has been collecting there. And what, you know, but you guys are so close to just having everything just, yeah, you guys are going through such, such a transformative process. I was just showing a butterfly now. Um, but yeah, Libra, that is the reading that I have for you this week. I hope this weekly reading helped you today. If you found any cards that resonated, let me know in the comments below. Remember, I'm doing the giveaway, which all the details are in the description box below, Libra. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, my website is simplyvelka.com. All my social medias, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, everything, darling, Simply Velka. And if you have a friend that's into tarot, Libra, or even if they're not, send them this video and maybe they'll find a tear message that resonates with them as well but until next time Libra, i love you so much 